is green hydrogen the next big revolution in india let's take a look welcome to tui business bites green hydrogen is a big buzzword these days as india makes a shift towards renewable energy and reduces dependence on fossil fuels so what is the big project and what does it mean for the indian economy and you the common man chatting up with us is pranav master of crisel Hi Pranav, welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you for being with us. We are discussing a very important topic about India's conscious shift towards green hydrogen. So if you could just tell our viewers what exactly is green hydrogen and how is it actually going to be a game changer for us? Yeah, thanks uh, Smriti for that. Uh, uh, before I think we get into green hydrogen, I think let's take a step back and uh, first of all understand what is hydrogen gas. Uh, see, hydrogen gas is a colorless and a flammable gaseous substance which can deliver uh, or carry energy, but right. it is not a direct energy source. Okay. Now there are multiple production pathways of uh, hydrogen. Um, some of them being steam, methane uh, uh, reformation. You have uh, coal gasification, as well as electrolysis. now depending upon the production pathway that is used there is a wide uh, color spectrum of hydrogen from gray to turquoise to pink blue as well as green right now gray hydrogen is typically produced from methane uh, which is split uh, using steam into carbon dioxide and hydrogen blue hydrogen essentially uses the same process as gray but it captures the carbon dioxide that is emitted okay. however if hydrogen is produced through the electrolysis process mm. which is essentially splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen in an electrolyzer but it uses renewable energy such as solar wind biomass etc mm. then it is termed as green hydrogen and okay. it is called green because it does not produce Uh, greenhouse gas emissions uh, during its production or during its use okay. unlike uh, hydrogen that is produced from fossil fuel which is gray and blue why is there such a buzz around green hydrogen and uh, you know what uh, what sort of role can it play given its production uh, and its climate neutral uh, nature hydrogen is touted as a critical uh, fuel to transition to a low carbon economy and in fact green hydrogen specifically is featured in several uh, national strategies as well as reduction pledges of countries that we are seeing globally it's a long term uh, play and clearly a game changer nonetheless but over the long term horizon so india uh, is making that strategic uh, shift towards production of green hydrogen so what are the sectors that you see this playing a major role in so green hydrogen has the potential to make a significant impact across various sectors uh, and in turn helping to transition to a low carbon economy two sectors uh, where hydrogen is already being used are refineries and fertilizers mm -hmm. uh, refineries essentially use hydrogen today as part of their desulfurization uh, process uh, while producing diesel The refinery is one of the largest consumers today of hydrogen accounting for about you know close to 45% of uh, hydrogen consumption in India and uh, as petroleum demand increases and as norms get stringent for uh, uh, sulfur content in 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 petroleum products uh, we will see a further increase in consumption of hydrogen and with economics uh, uh, becoming more and more favorable towards green hydrogen we will see green hydrogen uptake uh, happening in this sector just to give you some sense uh, replacement of every 1 million ton of uh, gray hydrogen with green hydrogen can help avoid 8 to 9 million tons of co2 equivalent which is quite substantial given the scale of the refinery sector right uh similarly if i talk about the fertilizer uh, industry hydrogen is again used for ammonia production and ammonia can either be used directly or as a feedstock for manufacturing urea or other complex fertilizers use of hydrogen uh, green hydrogen 
should also make sense from an economics perspective currently if you see green hydrogen its cost is over two times that of grey hydrogen which mm. could potentially impact you know profitability of certain uh, sectors but the way one should look at this is you know the government could look at it from the view of import substitution as well as supply security and hence uh, use of green hydrogen in ammonia uh, production would make uh, sense from that standpoint uh, steel is another large uh, sector uh, which could see potential consumption of green hydrogen uh, and it will uh, be used mainly for uh, in the dri process uh, for re- uh, for reduction uh, and replacement of fossil fuels in the reduction process we believe that green steel production uh, for the indian market could uh, see traction only post 2030 uh, mm-hmm. hydrogen just uh, you know could see also a, a large uh, consumption source in the transport sector but today from a low carbon perspective evs are potential alternatives and currently far more competitive uh, we believe that hydrogen would see adoption over the longer term the fuels uh, cell based vehicles uh, would start becoming more competitive for maybe say long haul uh, and heavy duty vehicles per se green ammonia is an alternative for uh for the shipping industry airways or airlines again you know we could see uh, you know fuel cell based uh, aviation pick up but i think those is those are all long shots and i think that will happen uh, you know much longer in the time uh, horizon okay okay but what are the kind of investments you see coming into green hydrogen both in the near term and long term in terms of investments uh, uh, as per the national hydrogen uh, uh, mission uh, the government has estimated about 8 lakh crore of cumulative investments uh, in uh, implementing green hydrogen uh, projects uh, obviously this is going to be a function of uh, how do the economics stack up what sort of policy and regulatory support is provided to the green hydrogen sector mm-hmm. and also potentially how uh, india could tap the export market okay you spoke of exports so is there an inherent advantage that we enjoy in india towards uh, production of green hydrogen no absolutely um, i think in a few areas india does have a competitive edge uh, one is in terms of uh, the uh, solar irradiation that exists in india the land that is available uh, uh, for uh, setting up renewable energy projects and most importantly uh, it's the production cost of renewable energy generation which mm-hmm. is uh, significantly competitive worldwide as far as india is concerned and this is important because uh, renewable energy or electricity cost in the total green hydrogen production cost is almost you know 60 to 70% and hence this competitiveness adds a significant advantage and last but not the least i think human capital i think uh, uh, some upskilling would be required there but i think uh, human capital is again an advantage that uh, india really enjoys from a common man perspective for me how does it change my life so i think as a common man i think uh, uh, you know its implications uh, direct implications will be in terms of reduction of uh, greenhouse gas emissions hence uh, you right. know healthier life with lower pollution uh, levels uh, is a clear benefit to the common man and another big one is obviously in terms of uh, employment opportunities uh, just to give you some sense that you know based on uh, an assessment of global investments that we have seen across geographies we have seen that you know there could be a potential of almost 4 to 5000 direct jobs per gigawatt of electrolyzer capacity that is set up 